Hi guys, this is Constec, and today we will be checking out the Bad Wolf RGB Aura 2 gaming headset. Whether it's badass like its name or the other way around, we'll find out shortly. The Bad Wolf RGB Aura 2 is widely sold in the Philippines, and you've probably seen it many times on Facebook Marketplace, Shopee, and Lazada. There's no manual or any pamphlet that came with this headset, and I can't find any official technical specifications online. So, let's just jump right into my impressions and test. The design is okay. The metal frame of the headband was hidden with rubber pads, which adds to the appeal of the headset. It has the Bad Wolf name and logo on both sides, and it's flashy, thanks to the RGB lights. The headband is adjustable to some extent, and it does not feel clunky as I try to adjust it. You can find the volume control on the earmuff, and the foams are decently made and feels comfortable enough for extended use. One thing that bothers me is that the leather used on the foam looks thin and might wear down easily. So far, I've been using this for 4 months now and as you can see, it still looks presentable, so we'll see what happens. The microphone is quite small and hardly noticeable which is just okay. It's fixed and it has no mute button so you'll have to toggle muting through your computer. The headset has three cables, two 3.5mm cable, one for the headphone, one for the mic, and one USB cable to provide power for the RGB lights. The headset wire is sleeved, which is nice as it adds an extra layer of protection to the delicate wires inside it. I'll give it a pass on the build quality. Although it is evident that the materials used were cheap, the way this headset was made is amazing. I did not notice any loose parts, chipped off plastic, or misaligned assembly on the frame. The sound quality is decent enough and I can hear bass sounds clearly. Just like most headsets, it has stereo surround sound which gives the experience of immersion when gaming. Now let's go to the test you've all been waiting for, the mic test. Alright guys, so uh, before we proceed, I just want to show you my uh, current room setup. It's a small room. As you can see, I have a fan there and another fan there. Um, it's unusually hot right now, so uh, I, I needed those two fans. Um, so we would be expecting a little bit of background noise from these two fans and that's uh, how we will be gauging the microphone of this headset. Alright guys, so uh, we'll be doing the microphone testing now. So uh, it's already set to default and uh, I went with whatever defaults had showed up when I plugged it in. This time we'll be going with no noise suppression and uh, I'll be reading out a few sentences from my uh, favorite website typingtest.com Alright so here we go. Uh, Aesop was one of the great Greek writers. He is best known for his fables, stories that have a moral. They teach us something about how we should live our lives. Aesop wrote thousands of these stories. Here are a few. Alright, so that's for the no noise suppression test. Then uh, let's proceed with noise suppression. Oh, by the way, I'm not using any microphone boost. So uh, let's check it out later if uh, going with no microphone boost is actually okay. With, or it's just enough for this headset. Alright, so let's double check that. Alright, noise suppression is on. Let's do the second test. So I'll read that uh, paragraph again. Aesop was one of the great Greek writers. He is best known for his fables, stories that have a moral. They teach us something about how we should live our lives. Aesop wrote thousands of these stories. Here are a few. Alright guys, so there we have it. Um, it appears that the general volume decreases when you enable noise suppression. But uh, it's actually effective in canceling the background noise of the fans. And uh, I would just recommend that you speak uh, clearly and a bit loud uh, if you think the people or your, the, the, the one you're speaking with on the microphone is not hearing you properly because of that noise suppression. Uh, I would say the microphone of this headset is 
uh, is it's pretty decent for the price point. So uh, that's about it, and uh, let's proceed into concluding concluding this video. Overall, the Bad Wolf Aura 2 gaming headset is not so bad at all. For 350 pesos, you get a headset that does the job. Decent sound quality and decent mic is what you'd expect from it. RGB lighting adds a certain flair to its modest look, but there is no denying that the Bad Wolf logo is just badass. That's it for this video. Give it a like or dislike, comment down if you have questions or anything to say, get subscribed because I got more waiting to be uploaded, and as always, thanks for watching and see you guys soon.